Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Anime King. And I know that this is not my normal videos that I usually do, but I just need to get this off my mind. I've been recently catching up with the Baruta manga and I have these theories that I've seen as I read through it. There's a lot of them guys and I want to know what you guys think about them and if this could actually be what is going on behind the scenes. So my first theory come from the four new enemies that are in Baruto and I'm talking about Matsuri and God Tree Bug and the clone of Sasuke, Hidari and the leader of this group which is Jura. I've noticed with their birth they don't understand or seem to know what is their purpose as they try to understand what is it that they want in this world. After a while they came to the conclusion that they were going after specific members such as Konohamaru, Naruto, Sadara and Aida. And this is because all of them are linked to them in one way or another. With the originals, Matsuri is going after Konohamaru, someone that she grew up with, Bug, always had a fascination with Aida and that seemed to turn into hate and anger and he's now going after her. And the Sasuke clone, well Sadara is Sasuke's daughter so you can see the connection there and Jura who is obviously a clone of Ishiki is going after Naruto so yes all of them has a connection to all of the members in their original life. So this is where my first theory comes from. I was wondering perhaps Shibai was seeking ultimate power. Think about it. The Osusuke main goal is to draw the energy from all the planets that they visit eventually bearing a fruit that they can devour. I believe that Shibai has been doing this for eons and he ate so much he got so powerful that his physical body could no longer contain his power and he realized that he would eventually explode. So he did something rather similar to what the Tentail recently did. And when you think about it, the Tentail, it came from a tree. I believe that Shibai turned into a tree and he spawned all the other Osuskis. I don't think there's a clan or a village of them, just a couple. And they were all programmed with the information that they were to go out and absorb other planets. And eventually, they were to come back with all that power to fortify their bodies and merge together to create the perfect vessel for Shibai Return. That's just one of them. Yes, it sounds crazy guys, but it's been racking my brain all day since reading the Boruto mangas. And another one which confused me and no one seemed to be asking. It's Amado, that genius scientist that seemed to be able to do almost anything. When the option of Naruto taking down Baruta because Momoshiki was taking over his body was proposed. At the last moment he was able to find a cure to push back the effects of Momoshiki and the events that follow after that was Kawaki almost killing Baruto to an extent. However, Momoshiki was able to bring him back and in doing so He's now stuck with him as he's more Osusuke than ever. I believe that Amado was aware of that and he was counting on all of that going on. I believe that he's been playing everyone since the beginning because I believe that he's actually Shibai. Well to an extent. I mean if you focus and look at it. He told them that he got Shibai's DNA and he used said DNA on the two children that are immensely overpowered right now. Damon with his reflecting ability and Ida to make anyone fall for her, almost anyone. How exactly did he find these DNAs? Did they just randomly come to earth and he just found them? How would he know about that? I'm not sure why no one is asking him about that but that is a big gap that no one seemed to be focusing on. So that is what start my second theory. I believe that Shibai got so powerful that his body eventually bursts and he evolved to a higher state of consciousness. However, 
That was not what he desired. He wanted a perfect vessel that could hold him, that could handle his immense power. So he searched all over the universe and he came across a broken man who just lost his daughter, which was Amado. After all, Amado's whole thing was bringing back his daughter. And I read that he wanted to create a perfect vessel for her to place her in, which I believe is a big lie. I believe what you want to place in that is actually Shibai. Well, there's two things. Perhaps he know all about this. And him and Shibai made a deal that if he brought him back, that he would bring his daughter back. Or perhaps Shibai entered his body and is whispering in his ears for the longest time now, nudging him in the right path. And there is another one, that Amado never had a daughter. This new ability of Ida where she was able to rewrite everything, making people believe that Baruto was the actual enemy. What if Shibai did that? What if he was able to control it? Because all of the power came from him in the first place. So what if he can bring it down to a level to use it on one person? Making Amado believe that he had a daughter, he had a life where he raised her and then eventually lost her. Tricking him into working for him and giving him his DNA in order to make both Damien and Ida. So yeah, that's another one guys. Either he's been manipulated or he's fully aware of this. And given Amado vested interest in Kawaki, I believe that he's trying to make either Kawaki or Baruto into this perfect vessel. I'm thinking at the time when the option was proposed to kill Baruto to stop him from transforming ever again. He knew and he could have made the pills a long time ago, but he wanted to see if Baruto could withstand the power of Momoshiki, could hold him back. However, he didn't want Baruto to die. So he gave them the pill in order to save his life. I know it's a crazy theory but I just still can't understand how he was able to get Shibai's DNA. I doubt that it was Ishiki that gave him the DNA because I read and it was said that Ishiki told him to deactivate both of the overpowered children. And I doubt Ishiki would just hand that over to him for him to create someone that was stronger than him given how long ishiki has been doing this given how long he has been planning i doubt that he would ever do something like that so i really believe either he's being manipulated or he is shibai yes guys there's a big chance that he is because no one seems to be focusing on him he's in the background doing all of these stuff there has been scientists in ruta before orochimaru is a scientist yes He's done some sick twisted experiments but he's still a scientist. He's not even the only one. The creator of the ninja tools that Baruto had used to cheat. That guy's also a scientist. And yet, none of them even come close to the genius intellect that Amado possess. Something is really up with that guy. And my last one is probably the most craziest theory. I believe that Shibai started it all and i'm talking about the whole ninja world so strapping for this one because it's gonna be even more crazy i know that kaguya was rather pissed about what happened to her after she ate the fruit she changed drastically she was also creating an army to fight the other osuskis that was going to come to earth but i believe that shibai was there not in physical form but in a spiritual form a level that he ascended to. Once again he desire. The perfect vessel. After finding out about the whole karma thing. I think that he wanted to change someone. Rewrite their DNA completely and take over. The Osuskis. Has that design in their own DNA. I believe it generated from Shibai. Which I believe all of them did. I believe that he was the one that manipulated Kaguya. Whisper. Those dark thoughts in her mind. That made her turn against the people, which eventually led towards the battle between her and her sons. Given the new crazy abilities to completely rewrite people and time, I believe that he has the ability to glance in the future 
and he knew that soon enough, Baruta would be born, which would be his perfect vessel, that strange eye that Baruta has, the Jogan, which is translated to the pure eye. I believe that when Shibai ascended, his whole form became pure. He became a being of power that could not be described. I believe that he was behind it all. He even manipulated Tonari, which led to him doing what he did for Baruta to gain the Jogan, which is a part of Shibai. Yes, that's a crazy theory, but look at Black Zetsu. I believe that Shibai is in the background, just like him, manipulating things on a much, much greater scale to become the perfect being in the entire universe. After all, what is a few centuries to him? He's a literal immortal being, so time means nothing to him, guys. So yeah, that's all I've been able to think of since I started to dive deeper in to the Baruta manga. I'm gonna be doing some more research and checking out more of it, guys. But I want you to tell me down below if you guys actually believe that any of this can actually happen. I know it's crazy, but tell me what you think. So yeah, I'm out for now, guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace.